Prime Minister in, of India. And you're confronting roughly this world. Uh, it's no longer Trump. I don't think you would get along with him, but uh, with the Biden-Harris team, where well, I feel you would get along. Um, what would your position be? Would you distance yourself? This I find this very difficult because I, I uh, even conceiving of these situations, because on the one hand, there are there is global democracy, rules of play. On the other hand, you have to be realistic. Power is important, as you say. What would you do if you were? The first thing is, the first thing is, I can see that there is a clear Chinese vision. I don't agree with elements of it, but it's there. And the vision is terrestrial global vision. It's a modern Silk Road with a nervous system in it. Um, and it's a global vision. The United States requires a global vision. We are a friend of the United States. But I don't see that global vision. I think India has a role there in creating a vision. Right? Creating a, a strategy. It's not, it, it's not necessarily a confrontational strategy. It, it can be a coexisting strategy, but the strategy has to be there. And currently the strategy is not there, right? Um, the conversation that the United States has with India is basically a, a conversation about the military aspects of it. That's not going to cut it. That's not, that's not a, a, a vision. That's, uh, that's not even a strategy. That's at best a small piece of a strategy. Okay.